Patty McDaniel got one that was kind of given to her. I sincerely hope I shall always be a credit to my race and to the motion picture industry. My heart is too full to tell you just how I feel. And may I say thank you and God bless you. Yes. Well, she, she won that. I mean, and that's the, you know, that's another conversation of, you know, people talk about, well, why are you, why are you a, a proponent of, of Gone with the Wind? It's like, it's wonderful. she won an Oscar. She won an Oscar and broke everybody's face. They put her in the corner. They put baby in the corner. <laughs> Is that okay. what we call? Is that we're calling a Patrick Swayze callback? Thank you. See, I'm keeping up. I'm trying to keep up with you. And the Oscar goes to Whoopi Goldberg. That moment of going on stage, walking up those steps. What was that like? What's going through your head? Walking down that aisle to go up those steps. I thought, okay, finally, <laughs> finally, I wanted this. I wanted it. You know, and, and and people say, well, you know, it's a comedy. It's probably not going to work. And, and I thought about all the, all the people who didn't get it. And I thought, well, I got it. I got this. This is mine. And, and that is also forever. That's part of my moniker. Academy Award winner. Yep. You know, I like that. Ever since I was a little kid, I've wanted this. You don't know. <laughs> My brother's sitting there, he says, thank God we don't have to listen to anymore. You can do it now. My mom's home, everybody's watching. What's more fun, watching the Oscars at home or being there on the floor, on the stage? Oh, well, now that I'm an old broad, I'd certainly be in there, it's more fun. My daughter and I went a couple of years ago because I think I was presenting something. I don't know why I was there. Oh, I do know. It was because uh, Chris Rock was doing, he was hosting it. Which time was it? Was it when he did the, went to the Magic Johnson Theater, which is maybe one of the greatest moments in Oscars history? So I left the Kodak Theater and went down to the Magic Johnson Theater. Did you see Million Dollar Baby? No, I sure didn't. I can't lie and I'm not going to front to these people out here and tell you, yeah, I seen it. And he was just like, listen, you got to put us in some shit. <laughs> you don't have to, we don't have to do everything, but now you got to do it. Because now people are calling you out about it. Man, I, I counted at least 15 black people on that montage. And, and he's gone through that thing, too, where people say things about the show and then a few years later go, oh, he was really good at it. Is that part of, the, of, of the, the thing that comes with it, that people can't recognize what it is you're doing when you're hosting the Oscars at night because of the expectations that people in that way you're talking about? People need distance to sort of judge you as an Oscars host? I think so. I think so. You know, and they're judging what you're doing without really sort of paying attention to what you're doing. It's like the, you know, coming out as Elizabeth. Good evening, loyal subjects. I am the African queen. <laughs> it felt like there were 500,000 Elizabeth movies. And Betty Davis did the greatest. I mean, I'm sorry, she did the greatest uh, Elizabeth movie ever. Elizabeth in Essex, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. that's who I patterned that visual on. 